Mercom Minute here. Today we're going to install the MGC 400 Configurator version 1.0.16. Your version may be newer than this, however the steps you would take would be the same. I'm in my file explorer under the, my download section. This is where the package is located. I'm going to right click. From here I'm going to run as administrator. Windows user account control is going to ask me if I'm sure I want to do this and the answer is yes. You need to accept the terms of the license agreement. Go ahead and click I accept and next. The destination location will be chosen automatically. Go ahead and click next. And the start menu icon location will also be shown and select next. Now that those items have been clarified, go ahead and click on install. Next will come up is the FTDI CDM drivers for connecting to the control panel. Go ahead and click on extract. This opens up the dialog for the device driver. Go ahead and click on Next. You need to accept the agreement for those drivers. Click on Next. And that's now finished. Click on Finish. The next item that comes up will be the Weeboo key setup. You're going to need to install this for the security key that would be connected to your control panel or to your computer. Uh, go ahead and click on Next. The language can be selected. Default is English. Go ahead and click on Next. Uh, leave the two check boxes. Click on Next. The uh, list of information that's going to be uh, done now is located right here. Go ahead and click on Next. This will copy all the files. Once that's done, the Next key will illuminate. We can go ahead and click on Next. Uh, if you want to read the text for the Weeboo key, you can do so. Go ahead and uncheck that if you don't want to read it. Click on Finish. It tells you that the driver has been successfully installed. Click on OK. And now we've completed the MGC configuration setup wizard and the checkbox for launch application is checked. If you wish to open up the application, go ahead and click on finish. This will now open up the user preferences dialog box. This is only a one-time setup when you initially install. This menu can be, uh, you can go back to this user preferences once you're in the configuration software. So go ahead and click on uh, username and just enter in your username. The rest of this can be left alone. Click on OK. And now the application opens and a new uh, template or a job file that exists on the database already. That's it. Always learning. Out.